Ethereum is going through its biggest upgrade in under two days. If you own Ethereum, you need to watch this video. I've just done all the research with my team about what exactly you need to know about this upcoming upgrade for Ethereum as it's going from proof of work to proof of stake, also known as the Ethereum 2.0 upgrade. It's under two days away. There's so much noise, so much confusion. Is the price going to go up? Is the price going to go down? Is this the right thing for Ethereum? What is actually going on? Do I need to claim my tokens? Am I going to get scammed? Does it get airdropped? How does all this stuff work? I'm going to share with you in this video exactly what you need to know in under 10 minutes so you don't lose your Ethereum and can continue on your crypto journey. My name is Ben Simpson. I'm the founder and CEO of Collective Shift, where we share, where we, sorry, share you all of the crypto insights and analysis so you can make great investment decisions in a short period of time. Uh, we share these videos three times a week on our YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And just like you, I'm on this crypto journey as well. I've been in crypto for about six years and we've never seen this upgrade of this size before. The analogy used for here, Ethereum in this upgrade is like a rocket ship on the way out of the uh, universe and it's about halfway there and they need to upgrade the engine to make it happen. So they're going to, in mid-flight, upgrade the old engine and switch it in with a new engine while it's flying. And if they stuff up, the <laughs> rocket ship could crash. So that sounds kind of scary, uh, but Ethereum has got some of the world-class developers, it's got a lot of money backing it. Vitalik obviously at the head. Uh, there's pros and cons to this. Uh, I'm personally, you know, a little bit torn around potentially some of the downsides, which I'm going to talk about uh, with some sort of the, this more centralization aspect. And also there's a lot of money at stake. So I'm going to throw it to you and see which side you sit on the fence at the end of this video. Uh, I'm going to give you my prediction at the end, but yeah, let's get into it and give me, going to give you everything you need to know uh, about this merge. And first of all, Google has added it. <laughs> Funnily enough, they've added the Ethereum merge to Google searches. So you can search the, the merge and get a uh, current uh, estimated time frame, which is around two days from now, about 52 hours from the time of recording, uh, obviously showing the uh, the amount of interest uh, of this. So we've done this write-up for our members in our platform for the merge and everything you need to know, our team, Matt and uh, Nick, a couple of our analysts have put this together. So it's really good. And I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know uh, here today. So uh, basically, what do you need to do? First of all, you need to do absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing you need to do. People have been asking, do you need airdrops? Do you need to claim stuff? You do, ne do not need to do anything. The Ethereum uh, 2 will basically uh, come to you automatically. You don't, do not need to uh, exchange anything. You don't need to claim anything. So please be concerned. Uh, please be aware about scams. There's gonna be a lot of scams going around. If you're unsure, they can head over to our Discord. Our Discord's under our Collective Shift um, banner. You can go to uh, collective shift and then hit to our discord here and you can go to our security channel and we'll just keep you aware if you're unsure you can post there and ask questions but basically the emerge is happening and it's changing the ethereum's uh, consensus mechanism so basically going away from the proof of work sorry proof of yeah proof of work mechanism which bitcoin is on right now to this new chain proof of stake chain uh, which is basically going to make ethereum more uh, hopefully energy efficient more scalable and according to the ethereum developers better for the ecosystem so Look, what is the key differences? Well, proof of work is basically when you get miners and nodes and they basically uh, are fighting to uh, ch basically score or win an algorithm, trying to compete to win that uh, algorithm. And if they compete and win that algorithm, they're then rewarded with being able to mine Bitcoin. And uh, Bitcoin currently do, does that. Ethereum is currently on it and it uses a lot of mining processing power. However, it is far more decentralized more straightforward and is grounded in the real world because it requires real energy input to make those mining, uh, I guess, uh, equations happen. The drawbacks of proof of work does use a lot of energy consumption uh, and it's difficult for individuals to mine profitably because the economies of scale, as you have more mining capabilities, obviously you're able to mine more Bitcoin more profitably. Uh, so a little bit more difficult for individuals that want to like sell something in their home and mine Bitcoin can be a little bit harder to profit off that. Now the benefits of proof of stake where Ethereum is going towards dramatically less energy consumption. It's using roughly 99.9% .9 less energy after it goes through this merge, arguably more economically efficient as well, uh, just due to the costs involved in mining and, uh, and different things like that. The drawbacks of proof of stake though is the centralization risk. So one of the biggest things I found which was really interesting here was we got Lido, which is a liquid staking platform. So basically people can invest into Lido to help them uh, stake their Ethereum if you don't have the 32 Ethereum to stake it yourselves is that Lido currently holds 31% of the total staked ETH and major exchanges hold a combined majority share. So there's a large percentage of the mining, so a large percentage of the staked ETH is gonna come from a couple of companies. Well, Lido, for example, plus the major exchanges, which is really increasing the centralization risk, 
which then pushes into the government captureability. So with more or less people doing the mining or the less nodes, you basically have arguably uh, more susceptibility to regular regulatory capture as that centralization aspect, uh, as there's less people in the, I guess, uh, network making the network run. So look, that's an interesting one. Uh, it's also younger and far more complex. So uh, proof of stake is less battle tested than proof of work. Uh, we haven't seen this too much. Some other platforms or other uh, projects that use proof of stake. Uh, projects like Solana, uh, I think Cardano as well is on proof of stake. So look, it has been used on other platforms, but we haven't seen it on Ethereum just yet. Um, some common questions we're getting as well around, this, uh, around the merge is, can you now withdraw your stake to ETH once it goes live? No, you cannot. It's gonna take somewhere between three and 12 months to withdraw if you've staked your ETH. Uh, three to 12 months to be able to withdraw that. Will the merge lower gas fees? No, the merge will not lower gas fees. The lower gas fees will be the focus of the future network upgrades. Uh, and also the rumored ETH uh, proof of work coin, the speculation around the ETH proof of work uh, miners may continue to mine because we're gonna get that fork like we had Ethereum Classic. There's gonna be another fork because you can't undo blockchains. They're there uh, forever, so it's gonna be a copy and paste. Now there could be an airdrop, could happen for ETH holders, but there's gonna be a follow up uh, down the line once that happens. So. Look, it's big, it's big news. We've never seen this happen. There's smart people on both sides. Checkmate, our uh, on-chain analyst, is very bearish against Ethereum. He's actually sold all of his Ethereum. Matt, our head of research, is very bullish on the merge. Uh, so yeah, there's definitely opposing views. We've never seen this happen before. We've never changed a rocket ship's engines mid-flight. So <laughs> that's one for uh, the taking. So look, if you are scared, there's no harm in maybe selling off some ETH if you want to. Is the Ethereum uh, merge already priced in? Like we've already got, you know, around 22, sorry, around $1,600 USD ETH. Has it been priced in potentially? Are we gonna see a big increase in price after the merge if it all goes successfully? Honestly, who knows? I don't know. Um, I'm not selling my ETH. I'm continuing to be bullish on Ethereum. Uh, you know, I, I don't see any real need to sell right now, but it is a risk. And if you're worried, there's no harm in, in selling off if a little bit, if you want. So the the upgrade uh, went live a few days ago. Uh, it's gonna take a little while for the transition to happen. And you know, it's gonna be activated and expected around uh, September 13th to 16th. So. Look, if you want to read a little bit deeper into uh, the proof of work versus proof of stake, I'll leave this link below. This is a free resource. And Matt also did an upcoming busting the biggest three myths around the Ethereum merge uh, a little recently, a while ago. So hopefully that makes sense. Please do not get scammed. You don't need to do anything. Just hold on. Uh, the Ethereum merge is happening right now over the next two days. You can see that countdown over here the next uh, sort of two days and uh, four hours, for the next 52 hours. So very exciting times, a lot of talk about, it, a lot of speculation, and uh, we'll see, we'll see you on the other side. So if you like these videos, please uh, give us a like and a subscribe, it really does help the channel. My name is Ben, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.